This will be tutorial 25 of our social API application we've been building for some time using Spring Boot and today we are going to be adding crude operations to our business services. In the previous tutorial we added repositories to each of our packages corresponding to each of the class and today we are going to be adding crude operations for different business services con uh, corresponding to each of the classes. For instance we have location service we have the user service and we have the post service. So just a reminder that the user service or the business service talks to the repository, right? So the controller talks to the business service and the business service talks to the repository. And the names are intuitive. Uh, we have user controller, we have user service, we have user repository. So these three things are always what you need to create in your application. So and that is standard practice. For instance, we have the location, we have location controller, location repository, location service. That is a standard practice you need to follow. So let's go ahead to add the crude operation. So the location service, we already have a code here. And this code here is hard coded, uh, hard -coded list of items that we assess and also add items to it or delete and update, but it's hard coded. It has no business to do with the repository. So we are going to remove this and add, uh, use JPA to, to add the methods and they will actually leverage or uh, call the functions that exist in the repository that has already been created for us. So this method that exists in the repository because the repository is an interface that we are extending. There are methods there that has already been created that we can just use. So let's start with the first one. So now, again, this is a procedure-based class. So you can always see the procedure here, all right? So in this case, we have list location, get all location, okay? But before we do that, we need to auto-wire the repository into the service, right? We need to auto buy out the repository into the service. To do that, we simply create a private, what is this? We simply create a private member variable of the repository type. So simply say private, in this case I use public, it also works, but it's better to be private. And I'm working with location. Okay, so, mm -hmm. okay. I think there is an error here. This this is uh, should not be student. This should actually be uh, location. Okay. So let's just do it together. So so now we have uh, get all locations. So now we are trying to uh, auto wire the repository into the service. So simply say location repository. That's all. So, and simply add your auto wire annotation. So, that's what you need to do. So, to avoid confusion, I'm going to first delete all these codes everywhere so that we can see everything clear. So, I'm going to delete these codes. I'm going to delete this code as well. So, what we just have here is templates. I uh, have the uh, get all locations, get location. Add location, delete location, and update location. Now I'm going to start with the last one because it's easier to work with the last one. So in this case, you simply say location repository dot update is the same as save. So just save. And that's all. So location, you save, you save location. Okay. All right. So basically that is it. And the same thing with delete. So you simply say location uh, repository dot delete. But this time we are saying we'll say delete by ID and we simply pass it the ID. So it's, it's this easy. All this method delete by ID, save or add, get all, all of them are already created for us. There might be sometimes we may need to get uh, items based on certain criteria. Let's say get users by location or something like that get users by location or maybe get location by a certain criteria we now have to modify something i'm going to show you how it works so 
the same for add location is the same with 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 uh, with update location. So I'm going to say location repository dot save repository dot save uh, and that is you give it location. Okay. All right. So the nice one is get location by ID. So get location by ID. Let's see. So oh, they have. So we have get by ID. Okay, let's write it because it's really very easy. So just find by ID. So it's as simple as that. So find by ID, get it. Now this year we need to do a little walk. So we actually should return it because it is. So why do we optional? Yeah. So always change it to optional. I explained this before. So in case there is no value, we don't have an exception. So now we need to get all location. This is where we need to do some work. So in this case, we need a list of location. The get all locations from the repository returns an iterable, but we need to convert it to a list of location. So first, let's create an empty list. And then when we get the, iter uh, the list of locations from the repository, we now look through it and, and load it into the, the list we created. So let's just say list of location. Let's call it locations as equal to new array list. Okay, so this is what we have. We created a new array list. Now we are going to get all location using the find all method. So I'm going to say um, I'm going to say location repository dot find all dot find all. So this is it. Uh, find all. So I'm going to is an iterable. So I'm going to iterate through it uh, using a lambda expression. So dot for each. Mm -hmm. So for each item in 